Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some more Dawn of Man, shall we? Alright, we're working people, working them to the bone. The workload is high. High workload. We got one knowledge. We got hungry people. But as far as the supplies go, I'm looking at this. We're reasonable on food. We're drying it out. We've got a bunch of skins coming in. We need grain processing to uh, have that happen. So let's see. What can we build? We do have a storage tent. We have wood pile. We have rock pile. Uh... We've got tents. Everybody has a house. We have seven people. So, um, Production. We do have the food dryer. We have the skin dryer. We have a crafter. Um, make leather from raw skin. You know, I don't think we have that yet, do we? So let's get it. Put it right there. Um, spiritual. Uh, we don't have a skull pole, but we can get one. And this will help, you know, just cheer everybody up. Each day they can wake up to uh, see a skull pole. Cool. Alright, so we're getting knowledge by acquiring fish. Let's see what we can get with our knowledge here. Um, I bought this. I do want dog domestication. That seems cool. Slings seem really good for you know, weapons. Who doesn't want that? Right now, this guy, are you cool? Just wandering around. All right, don't don't mess with me, cause you know we're not we're not at all ready for that. He's orange, so he would uh, absolutely crush us. Hmm. I'm going to speed up the game a little bit. Okay, here they go. They are building it. Do it. Uh, wait a minute. That's a bear. It's a young cave bear. Um, so it's orange. So if it attacks us, you know... We're in trouble, but hopefully it's... Man, there's like a bear family moving through. Hopefully they're cool. That's usually how I would describe um, bears. Cool. Alright. We built the skull pole first time, so we got a knowledge point. It looks really nice. Those are definitely human skulls. Great job, everybody. Now, I have knives, and I have spears, and I have fishing tools. Did I automate that? I did. Um, so, bone harpoons, bone spears, that's all automated. Oh, leather outfit. Okay. Um, but, to make the leather outfit, um, we need uh, not... I think we need a different resource than what we have. Warmth and style. I mean, I don't know about style points. Skin's outfit is just better. Except maybe when it's hot, like you'd want to wear it. So, you know, I always think of leather as being better, but skin's is leather. So, maybe not. Alright, we're going to speed it up. What does this need? Pending materials. Logs. Okay. Um, we have sticks. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so the resources have decayed. Yeah, that's going to happen. 
but when I'm looking at this, I'm like, logs? Um, now that I don't know about. Ah, here we go. Okay. Um, yeah, cut down trees. I need composite tools to get that. Okay. And I can't make... I can't just... That's going to be the next knowledge that we have to get, right? Is composite tools right here. Yeah. I kind of want to get these, but no, no, no. I need this so I can get trees and stuff. Okay. So we can't even build this until we get the, the trees going. The trader has arrived. I didn't know there were traders. Interesting. Um, he has on him some bread. He has a dog. Um, oh, dog domestication. Like he would just teach you that skill. Oof. That sounds awesome. Um, trade value five, seven, eight. All right, I won't give you any food then. 12 for a buy face. Tannin. Um, we could actually just trade for logs. Even though I, I don't have them right now. I could just get some by, uh, you know, doing that. Sweet, I got logs. Okay, so now we can finish this structure, and, uh... Yep, somebody's carrying the log over. Alright, we just need one more knowledge. Let's see, what can we make? Um, they're doing leather, so they're continuously producing this. But we need tannin. So I'm going to need to make a work area to collect tannin. But just certain trees have it, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Go for it. And then there's one person assigned to that. There's three people on gathering sticks, which that's good. Um, workload is terrible. So, I consider that a victory. Um, do I need somebody to hunt? You know, that's a good question. Like, there's these boar over here. Like, this, we could just be like, hunt that. Oh, they are. It's not going very well, though. It, it ran. Oh, it's hurt. Look at that. They're throwing spears. They got it. Oh my goodness, the first person's swimming over. This game is hilarious. Sweet. Okay. No tasks in queue. Yeah, they need the tannin for that to even happen. I don't think anybody has gone to do that job. So here's what we could do. Clothing. Um, clothing offers your people protection from cold, increases welfare, and reduces damage sustained in combat. Skins and wool outfits protect people up to freezing temperatures. It's critical that you have one of these per inhabitant. When it is warm, your people will prefer to wear leather or linen outfits. These increase welfare levels and offer slight protection in combat. Okay. So they want leather when it's warm um, and it increases their welfare. Okay. So uh, they want warmer clothing in the winter. It's winter right now. So we don't want leather. We want, you know, them to be happy because they have enough. So they have the skins outfit and... There's their morale, they're sleepy. You know, I, 
One of the things I want to say about this game, and I'm, um, it's, I know it's older, and a lot of you guys have talked about how you played this, and it was a while ago. Um, it's really cool that whenever I see that you all in the community um, are playing the game or have played it, it gives me confidence to know that it's a good game because you guys have good taste. And then when I play it, it looks like I've said this many times, but it looks very simplistic. But then when you see it, no, it's not. It just has a very clean style. Like, it shows you everything that people are wearing. And it's not like there's 50 stats for the Bone Spear. It's not like it has damage per second and piercing damage. And, you know, there's a, a giant tooltip that takes up the whole page talking about everything. But it's got damage for hunting, fighting, and it has durability. So it's like there is stuff going on here. It's not, you know, some mobile game. I really like that. Um, the, the, how simple it is. And so everybody does have skin outfits, so they're warm. So nobody's troubled by that. We have the four knowledge points. We'll speed it up. Mm-hmm. All right, there's a storm coming, which is problematic. Is anyone collecting tannin, though? You know, it's like, um, so 10 tannin is fine. For sticks, um, nobody's doing this because the, the work limit is 10, which is good. Um, for flint, it's 10 resource limit, which would be fine, but we only have one. Um, is there a limit on this? Yeah, it's 10. That's fine. I think we're fine on food. Is there anything that we want to build? Not to... I'm going to build another tent just to prepare in case anyone moves in. Is anyone moving in? No. But they could. Alright. So what I'm going to do is, because the sticks is like this, I'm actually going to just knock this down to only two people working in that area. I don't know if that'll help. Sweet. So we got a knowledge point for curing the meat, and we're going to immediately use this on um, composite tools so that we can uh, get some better stuff. So here, for example, I could now make um, flint spears flint axes and flint picks. Turn off bone spears like that. I'm going to turn on leather outfits as well, like all of that, just so... Um... Okay, we got a new human. I'm turning on bone spears, or these right here um, so that in the summer we'll have them and somebody is we did actually get some tannin we have no picks indeed we don't we're going for it but now we can actually mine stone there goes somebody um, work area exhausted obtained flint Okay, so we need another flint area. We got knowledge plus one for drying fish. Sweet. So let's go ahead and place a work area for flint. Um, that is... Oh boy. Flint? Flint. 
There's some, but geez, I don't want to go that far away. Do I have to? There's some way over here. That looks dangerous. Um, all right, I'll put it there. I'm not happy about that, but uh, it's something. We can also cut down trees. Yep, let's do that. Let's clear this out. And then... Fantastic. All right, so they're telling us we have no picks, but somebody is working on a pick right here. Oh, they're really, really inside there. Okay, great. So you can see now we have two axes. We have two picks. Tremendous. And maybe um, here I set resource limits. I can't remember. I think it's five is the resource limit, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they have like predefined resource limits that they're looking at. Okay. Anyway, um, work areas. Now I should be able to... Um, oh, I need smelting to mine the ore. Okay. But somebody should be able to get stone. Do I have um, a stone area set? I have trees chopping. I have sticks gathering. Well, usually they just pick up stones, like, in a... Uh, This work area for gather sticks is still a thing. But um, somebody is just getting this stone. Okay, this is what this work area is for. Okay, perfect. Okay, for some reason I kept seeing this as stone and this as flint. Okay, good to know. I need to uh, get those distinct. All right, let's go. Um, so we are running low on food a bit. Like, I could fit somebody... I could tell somebody to uh, fish. Like, more people to fish, I guess. What is this? What is this? Fish amount? It's very low. We're not starving or anything, but I might need to hunt. Raw skin. Let's see if somebody actually goes. Yep, here they come hunting. Got it. carrying it back. It looks like they left like all of the skin and stuff. Hopefully they go get that. Alright. Survived the winter. We got plus one knowledge for that. Sweet. That's fantastic. So a lot of these knowledge points, it looks like it's just, you know, once you 10x something, even if you've already done it. Oh my god. Okay, we've got problems. Um, creature attack. All right, so um, we need to, like, have these attacked. If, if everybody is, like, if they're coming at us, we need everyone to fight. Now, they killed them. Nobody died. Um, she actually took no damage. She took a little bit, and this guy took a bunch. Like, Zambol took a ton, but they tanked it. Like, I'm really impressed that they didn't die right there. Now, I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Like, I can't, like, 
build a you know automated defenses or something i can't have I, I don't think i can build walls or anything it's just um it's dangerous it's a dangerous world but now we get a bunch of food so and we got a new human So now they're kind of collecting stuff, and you can see our resource pile is pretty good. We've got Skin's outfit. Um, and we're making leather. Here's We're topping all of this stuff off here. Um, we got... Knowledge point from Bone. So what's our next play? I think either slings... I mean, dog domestication is sweet. Like, it feels like they would help out a ton, especially in defense. But so would slings. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, we won it all at some point. Uh, let's see. I'm going to check uh, in here. Actually, there's a... There we go. I still haven't made any leather outfits. I'm good on flint axes and picks, but I need more... Um, spears. The trader has arrived. Sweet. I love this trader. Alright, what you got? They have logs again, which we're actually okay on logs. I mean, bread is cool. Like, I could easily just trade them. one dry skin for you know all of their bread or a bunch of their bread I want their flint I'm slow on getting it so I'm just going to give like what would you give me for whoa wooden spear is five yeah take that And then there you go. Okay. Here's the resources that they have, and this is what they're using. Cool. All right, now we finally got some leather outfits for the summer. When it gets warmer, hopefully they'll switch to those eventually. Cool. Oh, we got knowledge point. Okay. Um, sling making or... Now, the only thing that speaks against dog domestication is just I don't have any dogs. I don't know if they just appear or maybe I've seen them. Um, but let's get some slings. I just love uh, archery for defense. Build uh, production. Oh, is that just something we craft here? Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't think we need bone harpoon that much. I feel like we have enough. All of our resources actually look pretty good. They're making slings, finally. I 
I'm going to set this crafter to high priority. I, I really want it happening. But I don't... Is it like, can only one... Maybe I should make another crafter. Can only one person work there at a time? There's all these separate workstations, so I kind of... But you can't, like, toggle... Like, the, you know, the work area, you can be like, hey... Have a bunch of people doing it. Anyway, we got slings. Alright, um... Okay, so... No tasks, like everything is topped off. Excuse me. So that means that um, we have enough of everything that we are auto-producing, which is awesome. So that's phenomenal. Um, I Let's see, how many do these hold... Looks like they each hold three. So, like, we have plenty of space. Oh, no, we don't. These are taken. No? Wait a minute. Oh, wait. That's just who's in there currently. Um, we have nine people. We have space for 12. All right. I'm going to build another tent. Just, you know... Because. Well, I'm really pleased with our progress. It is hot, and uh, let me see. It Indeed, you see they switched clothing automatically to the leather outfit so that they don't have to sweat it up. And that's great. You know, they're all just kind of, like, chilling out, wearing the cooler stuff. And you could see, like, their morale is, well, this person's morale isn't great. Neither is this person's. Um, I wonder how to boost that. They're praying. Um, prestige. Like, do I need to build more skull poles? I don't know. I'm still really enjoying this game, and it's so much fun to watch them all kind of bring everything in and... You know, slowly, slowly, slowly moving through time. And I have read in your comments to be slow in this game so that you don't progress too quickly through the ages because it's uh, it can be dangerous. So I want to say thank you so much, everyone, for watching and for sharing all of your tips and advice with Dawn of Man. I'll check you in the next one. Take care. <laughs>